let's grab a strap and blocks is for later, but blocks for later strap for now. Um, Elena's joining us. Good, good. Good morning. Bye. Right. Lie down. Pull your knees into your body. Hug. Ah. Grab the front of the knees and begin to circle the legs. And switch directions. Use your arms. I mean, like, obviously we're using our arms, but use your arms with awareness. Feel them. Feel the shoulder blades moving on the back. Just a gentle waking up of the muscles in the arms. You know, the other, kind of like you're rowing, like easy paddling, that kind of effort. And switch directions one more time. And then let the feet land on the ground with the feet wide apart. We're just going to start with a little breath. Let the knees fall together. Place your hands on your low, low belly. And observe the breath. Breathe through the nose. Letting the belly fill the hands on the inhale and sink away from the hands on the exhale. Lift the elbows if you can off the floor. So there's a little more attentiveness and pile the hands one on the other. And then move the hands to the diaphragm at the base of the ribs. And observe what happens to the diaphragm as you breathe in and out. What is the physical movement happening below your hands? Try to keep your elbows wide and off the floor. I'm observing that my left side feels like it's shifting, but my right side feels very limited. And I'm also observing that I can't tell if that's accurate or just like a kind of a weird emotional sense. I can't tell really yet. Yeah. Still sort of unclear, but we're gonna, for me, I'm gonna move my hands. We're gonna move our hands to our upper chest. Switch with the other hand on top, keep the elbows lifted. And notice, is the breath even making it up here? And does the body seem to be moving properly or is it limited? Is there a sense of lifting and rolling of the collarbones? Or do they feel stuck? Place one hand on the body part that was the most limited, and then the other hand on the second most limited. 
And as you inhale, inhale into the part that was the most restricted. And try to exhale out the part that was second most. Keep the hand on the most limited, bring the other hand to the most open, inhale into the most open and exhale out the one that was previously the most limited and may still be. And now analyze each of the three spots again with both hands stacked to start at the belly. Move to the diaphragm. Mine's not great, but it's better way like noticeably better and then chest top top chest kind of between the breast the top of the breast and the collarbones this is better this is my worst and this is this is improved now skeletally or like mm, the physiology doesn't feel so much better externally but the internal experience is way better And then let your hands come down, arms down by your side palms, up or down, whichever feels safest and full breathing of the whole trunk. And take a gentle little baby pause at both ends, at the top and at the bottom. And take your time with this. Allowing the whole thing to inflate and the exhale is over when the navel pulls back toward the floor, toward the spine, you'll feel it anatomically, it will move back. And imagine as you're exhaling that the lungs are kind of like at the car wash, just mist, or like the restaurants in the summer with the mist, mm -hmm. like it's just misting all of the deep organs, lubricating them, getting them juicier. As we get older, we get a lot, we dry out. Mm -hmm. We really need to take time to get the mist going and get those organs misted. Moving the cheek. One more big breath, please. Exhale when you're ready. Let your arms sweep back overhead. Big stretch. Take my palms are facing the ceiling, and I'm trying to extend my pinky fingers back and my thumbs back so that my rib cage is moving sliding with my arms. 
and then interlace the fingers, make a steeple or not. It's really up to you. You could also just have the all the fingers laced. And you're gonna keep reaching those arms back. And if you have the dexterity without overarching, let the arms come down to the ground. For reference, I do not. Mine are almost there, but not there. And then back up to the ceiling and overhead. We'll do 10 of these on your own-ish count. I'll count too, but face yourself. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. See if that loosened them up a bit. Maybe you can squeeze the head and slide the back ribs more and release. Bring the elbows to the floor in line with the shoulders. Make fists with the fingers away from you. Or, you know what, I like, okay, let's do neutral fingers. So fingers are facing one another. Push your elbows down into the floor, letting the shoulder blades drop onto the back. Don't under or over exert here. Just find that right pressure for the doors of the shoulder blades to slide open and close. Uh, lubricating those hinges. 10, seven, six, five, there, pulsing, four, three, two, one. Bring the fists to the temples with the knuckles, um, with the thumbs pointing down is the best way to say it. And squeeze the elbow bones all the way together, all the way down to the crowd, all the way together, all the way down. We're gonna do 25 of these. Find your own count. I don't know about you guys, but mine make a lot of weird sounds. I'm on 11. Make sure to go all the way in and all the way out. Nine, eight. And one more for me. So finish your 25 if you're not there yet. Shake out your hands and you're done. Interlace the fingers with the opposite lacing. We're gonna do 10 more of those arm extension pullovers. Arms go behind you all the way to the floor and back up. Eight, seven, six. Notice that the movement is easier. Mine is much easier, surprisingly. Two. Squeeze it when you're on your last one. Mm. And down. That's sort of rewarding. Let's grab that block. I said we wouldn't need it till later, but I was wrong. Put it between your knees, feet on the floor. You know, let's go a little higher than the knees, just above. So you're kind of like, high knee, low thigh, and you're just gonna pulse in. Let's go a little wider, the, not the most wide, the middle wide, and pulse. You'll do 10 of these. Keep your big toe down. And try not to use your butt. Try to use those adductors. Three, two, one. Pause, now keep the block there, put a gentle squeeze on it, and now use the, just squeeze the glutes without tucking the tailbone. Put your hands where you need to, to assess this movement. Are you, do not tuck, do not curl the pelvis under, keep a slow, a, a little uh, arch in that low back, a little bit, and squeeze your butt muscles. I know it's confusing because I, 
This told you not to in the previous exercise. So your brain might be a little resistant. Four, three, and I'm holding my butt. <laughs> and my right butt's doing it. My left butt is not, as far as I can tell, doing what my right butt is doing. And now go back to squeezing the block with the adductors, those inner thigh muscles, not using the butt. 10, let's take the arms wide here. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Make sure your big toe is down. Three, two, now squeeze and hold that. So you can feel those muscles doing something. Relax. Uh, thank you, Lola. And again, the glutes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I wonder if you guys are like me. That was part of my brain in a way. Okay, interlace the hands behind your head. Here, squeeze the block and pick your feet up to tabletop. Now squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Elbows are wide here. You're going to lower your heels only all the way to the floor and lift them back up. Keep a good squeeze on the block. Again, this is for your, for your body, but your brain has to remember to do the squeezing. Lower. Exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. Five like this. Concentrating on remembering to squeeze. And of course, breathe. Now let's add the head. Lifting the head and shoulders up. If that's too intense, just scale back to no lift of the upper body. Ten. Same lower body, adding the upper body. Check in with your belly that's flattening as you come up, not bulging out. Let's do it. I get two more. I'm going to figure it Come on down. Drop the head carefully. <laughs> carefully. Take the block out, widen your feet a bit, and windshield wide legs, right and left. Let the knees fall right and reach your arms overhead. Internal rotation might feel more strained which would be your left leg. Grab your left wrist and gently pull that arm toward the back wall as you guide your knee toward your front wall. Of course, be careful of your knee if it hurts your knee. Back off. But now, if you can, raise your tush a little bit. Hip flexor, really get that juicy. Thank you, Lola. Hip flexor stretch. And maybe lat stretch. All the other stuff. Adductor. And then release the grip on the arms. Slowly let the body recoil back to the middle. Drop your knees over to the left. Get a good purchase on that right foot so that you're keying your brain into the internal rotation of that right leg. Firm that right glute, grab, grab is kind of an aggressive word. Just wrap your fingers around your right wrist, forearm, slide like you're taking off an evening glove, kind of sliding down the forearm toward the wrist bone, and then pull that arm back as you guide that right knee forward. See if you can get a stretch along that whole right side. Wherever you need it, bring your attention there and breathe. If you can lift the glute a little bit away from the ground more, feel that delicious definition and tone. So we 
uh, kind of delineate that butt. And then relax, let it all recoil, kind of shrinks back to size. And let's check those three positions on the breath for fun. So feet wide, knees together, elbows up, hands stacked. Breathe into the belly and with your hands there, just assess. Notice if you've made space. And then the ribs, right at the diaphragm, so right at the base of your ribs. Somewhat improved for me, could still be better. Must get that better. And then uh, upper chest. But luckily this is better. And one hand on the belly, one hand on the top chest. Breathe into the whole torso, starting at the belly. And those collarbones expand, widen, roll, and exhale. And you may even feel a little lightheaded, just taking in all that air, getting it all working. It might be like, whoa. <laughs> I haven't felt this sort of oxygenated in a while. And then roll to your right, come on up. Again, I'm not using the strap yet, sorry about that. And you're gonna uh, face forward on your, on your, on your mat. Take your knees wide, toes together, and a nice child's pose, stretching your hips back toward your heels, hands are forward, let the head drop. Let the armpits soften while keeping your hands forward. And with the back body facing the sky, see if you can find the breath here and send it into the back. At least bringing your awareness there to the back waved kidney area. Just one more. Very good, warm up. Come forward onto your hands and knees and start your cat cows. Look at your own pace here. And I really would like you to get the lower back, that butt part, up toward the sky. You're getting that deep, deep, deep extension in the back. I don't know what that sound was. Oh, Siri. Good morning. Good morning, Siri. Please go away. Tuck the tailbone way under and work through those two positions, exaggerating at the top and the bottom, perhaps going beyond your normal. Walking your knees back just a tiny bit so you can find a flatter back here. Try to level out. And I'm really interested in the front body being strong and drawn in. You're gonna extend your right leg back with the toes pointed and then lower your right knee back under your hip. So extend leg extensions back and knee drops under the hip. We'll do 10. We're recruiting the back of the leg here. Glutes, hamstrings, even calves. Try to keep your arms straight and shoulders wrapped down so your lats are active. Keep the head level if you can. And switch to the other side. Left toes pointed, extending the leg, each time bringing the knee to tap down. Keep the ribs and belly drawn in. Good awareness, you guys. 
you can roll that right that hip down a little more toward the floor. Elena, are you alternating? Did you alternate before? That's fine. And two and one. Good. Toes are tucked behind you. Let's walk the feet back to a plank. Continuing in that upper body strength here. But if it's too much, come down to your forearms. Bellies in. Let's come down to the forearms. I think that's wiser. Palms together. Let's not interlace the fingers. Just use your triceps. Feel your feet flexed here. Squeeze the glutes, tummies are in. Collarbones, if we can, are wide. And try to lengthen out through the torso, kind of buckles upward. Can we lengthen it out? Holding for another few seconds. Five, four, three, good, two. And lower the knees. Push the hands back down. Let's take a down dog and stretch it out. Pedal your dog. Walk her out. Spending some time on, a, on the leg stretch here, pushing the heel down, seeing what you need. And then walk yourself to where your hands are. Lengthen to a long extended back and luxuriate here. The knees are bent, sits bones are back, chest forward. And then full dropping your head, easing in here to the stretch, not taxing anything. Glue your feet down, staple them into the mat, rise tall. Come on up, so your arms out and up and back bend here, reach back. Your arms are probably nice and stretched and able to do it. Oh yes, you guys look stunning. And then bring your hands to your heart. <laughs> yeah, that was beautiful. Bring your arms down, palms open, inhale. Big stretch up, then grab hold of your right knee. Pull your right knee up to your chest. So a little bit of balance here. Just going to hold it up. Pull it up high, like higher than normal. Mm -hmm. And then switch. Grab that left shin, knee, pull her up. Balance. Good. Now, release the knee, but keep the leg up and start to lunge it back. Step back into a lunge. Place your left hand on the ground, under the left shoulder, right arm up. Nice twist. Level in the hips, which will mean lifting that left hip a bit, swiveling it up, bending the right knee, squeeze the outer legs to help you isolate the spinal twist here. Let's put the blocks down on either side of the front foot. Bring the right hand down. Push through your right ball of your foot and straighten both legs. Fold over the right shin. Double calf stretch. Pick up your, the ball of the right foot. Push your left heel toward the mat. Flex your quads. Your left calf, hopefully loving this. Don't be too aggressive with it. And then lower the ball, the right foot, step forward. Use your blocks, they feel nice. Probably flat back, inhale, wow, good, delicious. Exhale, fold, innervating the spine there. And then rise up into a back bend. Hands come to heart, pick the right knee up, leave it there, and then extend that leg back nice and slowly, lunge. Right hand to the floor, under the right shoulder. Let's wait on the twist a second. Squeeze your outer hips so that you're really clearly having that 
vice on lock. So it's like you've locked the vice and then your left arm can lift. You're not gonna change the level of that right glute. Turn. Mm. And feel that spiral all the way up. Gorgeous. Bring the left hand down. Blocks are good here. Pedal through that left foot, straightening that left leg. Pluck up the ball of the foot and extend down through that right heel. Firm the quad. Definitely on the front leg, maybe the back leg too. Very nice. Bend that left knee, move the blocks to the side, step to plank. Strong hold here, ankles toward wrists. Bend the elbows halfway to the floor, roll over the feet. Oh, like a flag, open the chest. And then roll over the toes. Well done, down dog. Enjoy your breath. In through the nose, out through the nose. Pelvic floor lifted, belly tone, throat slightly closed, arms nice and strong, straight. Creating a heat, internal heat with this breath. After your next exhale, walk it or jump it to the hands. Lengthen forward, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to your back bend. Hands come to the heart. Let's flow through it. Inhale, right. I don't know what we're flowing through. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, step back, left foot, right foot, low push up. Inhale, glide open, collarbones lift and roll and spread. Exhale, back, down, up. Find that sound. Use it to draw deeper into awareness, into your practice. Inhale, raise your heels, bend the knees, exhale, jump or walk to the top. Inhale, look up, exhale, flushing out, folding in. Inhale, rise up and back. Exhale, hands to heart, arms come down. Inhale, breathe up. Exhale, fold deeply, hips rotate in the body. Inhale, look up. Exhale, right foot, left foot, step back, chaturanga. Inhale, urdha mukha. Open that chest. Exhale, adha mukha, breathe. Ujjayi breath. Inhale, raise the heels. Exhale, bend the knees, walk or jump to your hands. Look up, inhale, flush it out, fold, exhale. Chair, sitting into that squat, sinking back. Feel the glutes moving back. Hold here. Just let it get hot, belly in, arms long if you can, and rise and bend, five of these. Straight legs, feel the glutes, sit back, four, three, legs like springs, two, and sink here, a little lower, and fold. Inhale, look up, now lift your left heel, extend that left leg back. See if you can lift your hands to prayer, hold, balance. 
Maybe raise the torso a bit. Feel that right glute kick on. Step the left toes back, lower the left hand. Squeeze the hips together. Right arm lifts, twist. Bring the right hand down. Use your blocks. Straighten your right knee. Press down through your left heel. Raise your right toes. Pivot to the left side of your mat. Bend the left knee. Side lunge here. Flare your right toes up. Nice deep squat on that left side. Excellent. Carefully lift out of it. Bring your hands forward back to the top of the mat. Step up with your back foot. Lift your heart and melt down. Take your hands flat into the floor now easily. As you can press your torso to your legs. Let the head drop deep stretch here. And then the same muscles that we just lengthened, we're gonna use, hopefully. Sit down toward chair, squeeze those glutes, rise up and squat back down. You'll do five of these. Hands come to prayer, flare your right heel up off the ground, lift your right foot, extend your right leg back, let it hover, let it not even more than hover, let it float. Raise your torso if you can a little bit so it's more parallel to the floor. Not easy. Right toes hook the ground, right hand comes down, you guys, you guys did great. Level your hips, squeeze them tightly. Lift your left arm, twist. Long, long from heel to head, spiral. Nice. Left hand comes down, two straight legs, flex your left foot. Go ahead and drop the head. Pivot to the right long edge of the mat. Bend the right knee deeper if you can. Left toes up, but just to whatever extent is safe for you. Adductor here, stretching. Carefully. Weave your way forward, back to the top of the mat, plant both hands, step to plank. Fill your muscles, squeeze everything in like you're gonna roll it up like a sleeping bag. You wanna get everything nice and tight and then lower half of it. Roll into it, up dog. Let those collarbones roll back and open and downward dog. Right leg up. You can go a little higher now that you have a little more awareness in the back body. Perhaps reach to those toes. Draw the knee up toward the chest, pull it forward, hold there, and then right foot steps to the toward the right hand. So like a lunge position. Bend the right knee, inhale, lift up, arms to the sky. Lower your left knee to the mat. Don't get too comfy. We're gonna step forward and back with that left leg. So forward and then drop the knee. Let's do five. I have my arms up, but they don't have to be. Four, three, try to use that right butt. Two. After your last one, step that left leg back again, hold, press and lunge. 
Palms come to prayer at the heart. Hold. Elbows point wide so you can feel those shoulder blades in gliding door position on your back. Keep them there. Spin left elbow outside of right leg. Press bottom hand into the prayer. And so both hands are pushing into one another. Can you deepen here? Can you bring that left forearm outside of the right leg? Right arm high. Maybe, maybe not. If it's a knot, it's a knot. And the hand can go inside. This might be a deeper stretch in that right outer glute. More work in the quad. And then bring both hands down. Lower your back knee all the way to the floor. Straighten your right leg. Deeper stretch here for the right hamstrings. Extend the heart forward. Move the blocks back away so they're more in line with your right knee. Straighten your left leg and slide into just a kind of super cash, super not deep unless it feels easy on a manasana. So two straight legs and roll here. I have my hands on the blocks. Roll toward the outer hip and left leg. So kind of roll right and left. Lateral. And this gentle rolling often can just untangle simple little tangles in the muscles and really go a long way. Then take a few breaths, pulling the legs isometrically toward each other. Notice how that gives you more ability to lift the spine up. Oh, delicious. And then bend the right knee and be careful if you have knee stuff, please. I'm coming into a half pigeon with that front leg. Walking the blocks forward. I'm now gonna roll that back leg into pigeon position, which means forward. And I'm gonna stay upright. So I'm really going for glute and hip flexor here. So I'm gonna be up with my torso. Scissoring my legs toward the midline adds a bit more excitement. I'm going to slide my block under my right glute, bend my left knee, and add a quad stretch here. Reaching back with my left hand, I want to keep my hips forward so that I get the stretch. And I am getting it. Are you guys getting it? Uh, I have to add a bit of tailbone tuck, and I'm pushing using my right hand on my right thigh to kind of leverage up more. And then I'm going to kick my foot into my hand just to see what that does. It's exciting, but not as good a quad stretch. So now I'm going to pull my foot toward my butt carefully because I know my quads are moody. Elena, just be happy with not hurting the knee. Okay, we're gonna stay here, Elena. See if you can join us here carefully. So half pigeon with the right leg forward on a block and have your right foot really close to your pelvis so you're not putting that right knee in a weird position. We're gonna sweep that left leg forward. Maybe start with this shape. So now I'm sitting on the block. My right foot is in by my tailbone. I'm gonna grab my left foot. <sighs> I'm just like chilling here for a second because that stuff wasn't cardio hard, but it was sort of emotionally hard. And start to push the foot into the hand. I'm keeping the knee bent for now. I am, but you don't have to. I am working toward a straight leg. I'm lifting the chest toward the leg. And now I'm going to use my arms a bit. A bit more of a stretch. Try and see if you can lift your boobs up more. <laughs> That was a good cue for you. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's a 
fixed everything. Let's all lift our boobs up a bit. Okay, now just hold that left foot with the left hand. Let the right arm come up and just open that left leg out. Very good. Very good. Huh, that was good. Hooray! The world is changing. Okay, and then move your right knee more into the midline. Cross your left foot outside it. Arrange your butt so it's nice on the block. Wrap your elbow crease around the front of the knee. Lift tall and turn over that left shoulder. Just a little wink to yourself by scrunching your left big toe into the mat. They're just winking into the brain a bit. <sighs> Unravel. Pay a visit to the right side. And if you're like, Sarah, I can't help it. I feel the thermodynamics inside myself. I must do a handstand from here. Then you must. So if that's you, scooch over to a wall, find the spring-loaded position with your right leg behind you, and go ahead and just up and go. If you're like, no, that didn't even occur to me. I don't even know what you're talking about. That's fine too. And then we're gonna come back to the front of the mat. On all fours, let's uh, sit back actually onto our shins and just roll out the hands for a moment. Lotus rolls, back in the hands. You did just do a handstand. You will want these even more. And gorgeous downward dog when you're ready. Left leg up. Reach through those left toes. Feel that leg float using muscles. And then the knee draws toward the chest. Place that left foot forward. And we're gonna rise up crescent, arms up. Lower the right knee to the mat. Hands can be up or at your hips. And we're gonna step that foot forward and lunge back. Step forward. When you lunge back, your knee comes all the way to the mat and up, all the way down, and up. It's a lot in that left glute. All the way to the mat, if you can, and up. Two more. Hold your last one, crescent lunge. Palms come to heart. Isolate the hips forward. And then right elbow outside of the leg for a twist. If you want to wrap, so it's a deeper bind, the arm goes outside the leg, left arm high. It's just a much deeper twist and stretch. Really good, you guys. See if you can get the arm outside of the knee. Mm -hmm. okay. Hands come down. Guide your right leg back away. Just bring your hands down. Straighten one leg, that front one, the left leg. Place the blocks somewhere under your ankle for half Hanuman. Right knee is comfortably down. Put your knee on the floor. Straighten your left leg. Pad your knee as you need. Nice hamstring stretch here. Burn the left quads. Glide it to two straight legs, but super casual blocks. Come higher by the knee or maybe even under the leg if you want that buffer right now. And internally, externally roll. Lateral, looks like a side to side swoosh. 
Make sure you feel safe in your body so nothing is shrieking with sharp pain. There, there may be some aching. And you feel kind of like, all right, that, that did what it was gonna do. Squeeze the legs toward each other and see if you can get more upright lift. You're kind of extracting the spine from the pelvis. That's the feeling, getting space. And welcome your pelvic floor. Like, hi, thank you for being there, toning you, keeping my parts inside me. I hope my bladder feels like it's safe in there. Stay in there. And then we're gonna calmly, calmly move into that half pigeon shape. Be careful of knees. But it's an upright half pigeon. So that left shin folds in, left knee in line with left hip, and stay lifted if you can. Rotate that right leg into place, extend the shoelace side of the foot back, and level up through your torso. Breathe into the whole torso. Using the awareness from the breath work at the top. I'm gonna slide a block under my left butt. And I'm gonna reach back for that right leg and enjoy the quad. Just check in, do you need the shoelace side of your left foot down? Do you need to move that foot closer to your tailbone? What do you need here? Do you need to pivot your right hip farther forward? to access the quad. This is quads, which might be quins. They think there's five muscles there. Does that make it a quin? Release it carefully. We're gonna swoop it around. And Lynn, if you wanna join us in this upright shape, Putting a block under my booty, left heel by my tailbone, hold the right foot. Lift my chest to the leg, lift the leg to knee height, and then straight. Use the arms, lift the boobs up, chest up. Hmm. Open. Breathe here. Breathe in the morning, a fresh new day. Just erase all the things. We just had a gorgeous full moon. Hopefully we are flushing out what we no longer want to hold. It's like you win the day when you make the bed, right? It's like we're putting, making everything nice and neat and beautiful again. Cross that right foot over the left, out it to the outside of the left thigh. I have to fix my block. Sit up tall once you're steady. Right hand behind. I like to give that left side a chance for lifting. And then I wrap my elbow crease around the knee like a little uh, key in a lock. Lift tall and turn. Right big toe. Just a little crunch into the floor. And then slowly look to your left. Rotate to the left, give the left a little visit. If you must, bring this to a wall and handstand, you must. If you don't need to do that today, then just enjoy the twist some more. We will get an inversion in now. So we're gonna unwind this, uncross the legs, take your block, sit down carefully, scooch your body back, lie down. We'll take that block at me low, medium, or high height and place it underneath the sacrum. So you have a nice sturdy connection on that bone and with the floor. And you can hold here, whichever height, 
feel stable in a bridge. And this is quite nice. Or elevate your legs. And if that doesn't suit you, you could go to a wall and do it there. And I'd love for you to have the chest opening here. So maybe hold the mat and pull the mat apart if you're not located there. Interlace the fingers. You want to get that chest nice mm -hmm. and let everything drain. Inflammation likes to pull into the joints. We are draining those legs here. And the bladder I mentioned before, we, we did get a little nice tone here on the opposite side of the organs. We need to help keep them in, keep them toned. And if you do, you know, well, I guess anyone, you can feel your pelvic floor muscles a little easier here in this position. If that's something that's not super easy for you, this is a nice way to feel it. And get that upward suction, that engagement, like all the way up the belly. Feeling that core. And bend the knees, bring feet back to earth. Let's just hold here, raising the hips off the block. Pull the glute bridge, feel your glutes tight. And if they're not, tighten them. Flatten the tummy, push down with your feet and pulse your glutes 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. And of course, here we are in a pelvic tuck. Five, so you can go full glute. Four, three, to squeeze, lift, and then relax them and let them lower to the mat slowly. Have a little gift for your butt. Soles of the feet come together, knees open wide apart. If you want to, slide the blocks somewhere. On your knees or upper legs more, somewhere that just feels really good. Take your hands to the tops of the thighs, push your thighs away from you, elongating the torso. Yeah, can you feel that? You get that spaciousness in there. Place a hand on the heart and one on the belly. Let your shoulders drop. And tune in here. Feeling so quiet, you can hear your pulses, your heartbeat. Thank your organs for working so well, for being so incredible. All the magic they do. Endocrines. Thanking your body. It's an incredible, brilliant machine <laughs> where your spirit is living. This is its temple. Take your time, let that left leg slowly extend out. Bring your right hand to the leg and lift it to neutral, pull the knee into the chest. Shift your hips to the right side a bit, reach your right arm open 
As you take spinal twist, if your block is nearby, bring it under that right knee as it comes across so that it can rest there. You can find a really clean position with the knee in line with the hip. The left toes extend super long, the head in the opposite direction, and look over the right shoulder. Breathe here. We've done this twist in so many different <coughs> shapes to, or ways today. There's a lot of intelligence in the shape in your body right now. Just let it, let it be, just let it do what it's doing. Reach through the right arm, let that pull you onto your back, moving carefully and slowly, adjusting your hips to neutral, right leg extends long, left knee pulls up to the chest, just like we did in that first standing pose. Maybe the hips shift a bit more to the left as you come over to the right. Maybe get, if you have that block there, you can balance it, put it, and position it well under your knee so that your knee is level with the hip. Place your whole upper back on the floor, left arm out, turning your head left. Reach through your right toes. My toes are touching, bruiser's paw. It's really cute, it's like we're holding toes. Let your shoulders relax down. Just soak up all that the shape has to offer. Breathing in through the nose and out. Rinsing here through the spleen, gallbladder meridian, spleen meridian, bladder meridians, all the meridians really bathing in this position. Inception vessel, government, governing vessel, all of these are really featured here. Really, so many lungs, pericardium, I don't even know. They're all getting something from the shape. Oh, and then we'll reach through that left arm, roll to your back. Hug yourself. Give yourself a nice big squeeze here. I'm just going to play a tuning fork for us, bringing in the own frequency. You can't hear it. I think it's, I don't think Bruiser can hear it. Just a vibration frequency of own. I can feel it attuning us. My pineal glands like, oh, yes, oh. And then release your legs out. Grab hold of your head. Position it well. And lower it to the earth. Slide your shoulder blades onto your back. The arms are up. So let everything cascade open here. Front body releasing into back body. Back body surrendering to the earth. Let this be delicious. Whatever you're carrying, and I think you're carrying a lot, let that go into the earth too. She knows what to do. This mama, she's good. She can recycle it. Take a deep breath in. Release what you can as you exhale. Twice more. Breathe in deeply. Um. Okay. Um.
Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Big breath. As you exhale, raise your arms back and stretch out through your limbs. Oh, get them as far away from one another as you can. Really reach and stretch. Oh, reach out to the things you desire. And then curl into contentment. Bend your knees, roll to your right, and cuddle into yourself, realizing that everything you need is inside you. This healthy, strong body. This brilliant intelligence connecting into your superpowers here by simply weaving together body, mind, and spirit through the breath. Breathe consciously throughout the body, writing it out. One more. And then push down into the ground to rise, finding a nice tall seat. Sit here for a moment, feeling everything percolating. That inner contentment and open to everything that comes in every moment. Arms reach up to the sky. Palms come together, they glide down to the heart. Thumbs into the center of the chest. One ohm, broadcasting your signal, inhale. Oh. Raise your thumbs to your forehead. Take a deep breath. Bowing in. Thank you for everything. Thank yourself. Thank your community. Thank God. And I'll see you guys. Love you. Go make the world a gorgeous place simply by being you.